Hey, we're here and we've got a DRR90 here and it won't start with the high rev CDI box. So we're going to show you that it doesn't start with the electric start. Come flip the switch, brake. Okay, but he can kick start it. Go ahead, kick it. What we're going to do here is we're going to undo this Allen bolt, this Allen bolt down here, and up front we're going to undo the two Phillips head screws. So all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a 5mm Allen. So he's going to take these out right now. Just so you can get a close up, Phillips head screw in here, Phillips head screw in there, and then this literally comes off as one piece. And then we get into the stator. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the stator to make it work with a high rev CDI box. What we're doing is replacing the, we're going to fix the gap in here. We're going to undo this screw and the other screw. We're going to put a business card in here and we'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn the stator so the firing pin and the magnet are close together. We're going to put a business card in here and we're going to stick the business card right in here in this space. So we're going to stick the business card right in here between the stator and the firing coil. So now we've put the business card in here and that's the amount of air gap that you're going to need. We've been doing this on old dirt bikes forever. We're going to push this forward as tight as we can so it's a minimal amount of space between the firing coil and the stator magnet. So we're going to tighten these bolts up real quick. Okay, so we're going to pull the card out. It's pretty tight. We have the proper gap here and all we're going to do is turn it on and uh, electric start it now. Key on, kill switch. So now you see you can use any of our older CDI boxes that are high rev. You just need to make that adjustment to the stator firing cord. So we're putting the water pump back on. Uh, so you, before you put the screws in, there's circles on the back of this. So you want to align it. When you put it back on, you can turn it left and right because you have to align the water pump pins with the water pump wheel. So you're going to have to turn it left and right and don't force it on. It should go on gently and then you can put the bolts in.